3.3 day 2, we're actually completing the square. So com to complete the square for expressions like x squared plus bx, we're going to add the perfect number. And what we do is we divide b in half, and then we square it. So in these diagrams, we notice the combined areas of the shaded region is x squared plus bx. So adding b over 2 squared completes the square in the second diagram. This is what we're adding to make a physical square. So algebraically, it looks like this, x squared plus bx plus b over 2 squared. Then we write it as a squared binomial, which is x plus b over 2 squared. So here's a method of completing the square. It can be used to solve any quadratic equation. When you complete the square as part of solving an equation, you must add the same number to both sides of the equation. The key word is we are adding it to both sides. So let's solve x squared minus 10x plus 7 equals 0 by completing the square. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to move the imperfect number or the constant I'm going to call it constant um, imperfect number. So the left side of the equation is x squared plus bx plus blank equals d plus blank. Okay, so we're just setting it up for completing the square. So I'm going to move the imperfect number 7. So subtract 7 from both sides. And now we have x squared minus 10x plus blank equals negative 7 plus blank. Now I do that to set ourselves up to, in order to complete the square. That reminds me that I have to add to both sides of the equation. And so that's usually what some uh, student forgets is they forget to add it to both sides and then it doesn't come out. The first thing we're going to do is, well, after we set it up, now we have to find half of b. Now this is what we did in our last lesson where we were trying to find the perfect number to write it as a perfect square trinomial. So what we do is we find half of b. And yesterday we said that it was the coefficient of x. And then what we want to do is we want to circle it, because remember that is an important number for us. So we find half of b. b is negative 10. So negative 10 divided by 2, and we get negative 5. And I'm going to circle it. Then step three, we're going to square the result of step two. So square the result, so that's a, the exp uh, exponent of two. And then we're going to add it to each side of the equation. So squaring negative five, we get negative five squared. I'm sorry, yeah, negative five squared is positive 25. It equals 25. So then we're going to add it to each side of the equation. So this, so I'm just going to rewrite it. So x squared minus 10x plus blank equals negative 7 plus blank. So this 25 is going to be added to both sides of the equation. Then we write the left side as a binomial squared. Okay. And so really what we're doing is we're going to factor the left and we're going to add on the right. So here, this factors, now we had some practice yesterday um, of factoring perfect square trinomials to squared binomials. So this factors to x, and then remember the number we circled before, this negative 5? That just goes inside, okay? Negative 5, and then squared, and then we add this side, negative 7 plus 25. So that becomes, let me, let me just write, negative 7 plus 25, and then so let's simplify everything. So x minus 5 squared equals 18. There we go. Now it's set up. Now, the last thing we're going to do is we're going to solve for x by taking the square root of both sides and simplifying. So this is what we did at the beginning of chapter 3. We were solving with square roots. So we square root both sides, and then we solve. So we get x minus 5 equals plus or minus the square root of 18. And remember, the square root of 18, we need to simplify that further. The square root of 18 is 9 times 2, or 3 times 3 times 2. 
So that is 3 root 2 plus or minus 3 root 2, and so we substitute that in there. So this is x minus 5 equals plus or minus 3 root 2. Then we need to add 5 to both sides in order to isolate x. So the answer is x equals 5 plus or minus 3 square root of 2. And that's all we can do. We cannot add the 5 and the 3 together, okay, because 3 is multiplied to root 2. So this is it. Now for the homework, you might have to separate it out. 5 plus 3 square root of 2. And then the other one is x equals 5 minus 3 square root of 2. So let's try this example up here, x squared minus 18x plus 5. So let me just get you started. You subtract the imperfect number, then you get x squared minus 18x plus blank equals negative 5 plus blank. So we set it up. Then we find half of b. So negative 18 divided by 2, that is negative 9. So the sign is very important. I circle that 9, then I square it, that is 81. So 81 gets written into these spots. So 81 and 81. Then on the left, we factor. On the right, we're going to add negative 5 and 81. So the left side factors to x minus 9 squared. So this negative 9 goes in here. Then on the right, that is negative 5 plus 81. And that is 76 positive 76. Then we solve with square roots, so we square root both sides. So this is x minus 9 equals plus or minus the square root of 76. So I want to go ahead and see if I can break down 76. So I'm going to put it over here. So I'm going to, let's see, 4 goes into 76. Let's try it. 4 goes into 7 one time, so minus 4, 36, 19. So 76 breaks down to 4 times 19 which breaks under 2 times 2 times 19, and then that breaks down to 2 square root of 19. So that is the square root of 76 over here. Let me rewrite it. x minus 9 equals plus or minus 2 square root of 19. Then to solve for x, we add 9 to both sides. So remember, that goes in front of the plus or minus. So x equals 9 plus or minus 2 root 19, and then we're done. So please go ahead and try number seven and eight. Now again, if you see i, so remember we are working in complex numbers, and if you see a negative in the square root that comes out as i, so this is you know using all the things that we know so far. Try these out. So we tried this out. This is what you should have gotten. For number seven, that's two plus or minus two i. Number eight, that is x equals negative four plus or minus the square root of 21.